fuck shooting? Oh no. Okay, from my perspective, it looks like that SCV just ran headfirst into my Nexus and blew up. Like, ah! and then blew up. I don't know what arcade Clem is playing. He's playing Uberina, I think. Usually. But die all oh, shit. Look, this is how Terran players practice. So we see direct strike, 10 games, some Uberina. 2v2 Arctic Dream with Coco. More Uberina direct strike, micro tournament. Emerald City. 2v2 with Coco. Oh, nine days ago, <laughs> he played a, a letter game on Oxide. No, we don't look. We don't want to look at that. <laughs> this is how Terry plays practice. Ja niinku legit tajuttoman raskasta. Se on niinku ihan oikeesti kärkkymässä tota mun... Mediväkki. No harmi. Olit hienosti kärkkymässä, mutta ei riitä. Game is relatively balanced. I think Protoss, they need to do something about Protoss uh, design. Preferably. I, because Blizzard doesn't care, anyways. I wish they would have just let ESL do changes. If we could just do changes, like ESL together with the pro gamers, we could fix We could actually fix the game, I think, so easily. If they would just let us do it. But it's not, not going to happen with Blizzard. I don't know why. We could make the game better, maybe more people would play it, you know? Maybe two people will buy skins and then Blizzard is even gonna get something from it. De moins d'une dizaine en fait, de, de, de six, ce de, de worker d'écart entre les deux joueurs au moment où j'avais commencé cette phrase là. Ah, 8 ans qu'un, surtout. Du coup, on n'arrive pas juste à rentrer dans la B2 et du coup dans le là. Ah, ouais, il y va avec ah, tous là. les boys, il y va avec tous les boys du Terminus et il a bien raison parce que s'il le fait pas tout de suite, ça veut dire qu'il y a 8 ans que setup devant sa base et qu'il n'arrivera jamais à s'en débarrasser. Le target fire est très bon de la part de Clem, on se débarrasse de toutes les unités capables de combattre et c'est les SCV qui se font récupérer les uns la suite des autres. Hmm. GG GG You're fired. You're fired. Oh. GG Uthermal qui s'impose, euh, pardon, Clem qui s'impose face à Uthermal face au Senpai de la team, euh, de la team Liquid. similar style, it could go a lot of ways here in this beginning best of five as we head into the round of eight. Starting off on Romana side on top of this sky, for the bottom right, Kaizy Gaming, it is time. Oh. <laughs> For the fans that are obviously go, here, go. you know, for the fans, <laughs> and spawning over in the top left, as our Red Terran, representing Team NV, it is Bunny. Romanticide start things off. This is like obviously one of the more defensive maps now. Usually can go long. We've seen some of the best TVTs, I want to say, of the year on this with their Marine Lord versus uh, Clem, that was an absolute cracker. But both these. Just 
keep talking and then suddenly it does a lot. Well, I, I can't actually count it. It happens way too often. This could really throw off time, by the way. That scan just then, seeing those like second and third barracks go mm -hmm. down, he could be assuming that his opponent actually wants to play like a two base thing. Unless he's already thinking about that third being on location or over on the far left, but that mm. can really throw you off if you're Bunny. I mean, you know, the nerves, the pressure can get you. You don't know. I don't know how much these guys have played against one another, but I, I, I do like Time's position in this. As long as he does hold this, which those Marines getting awfully close. Uh, well, that already, <laughs> already reduces the chances of it. Um, yeah, I do think it actually depends a lot on the mindset. I know they've played each other a decent amount recently, and it has been bunny favored most recently. But, you know, with the beginning Reaper being a bit of a mistake, those Marines were definitely a mistake. It is kind of one of those things where, like, bunny might not be like, you know, snaps is going as fast as possible. But I think now he understands the situation. He is trying to just outmaneuver time, but it's supposed to be a difficult on this map. He's Look at that. I mean, time is playing with fire oh in this game, oh and Bunny knows about it. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's, he knew that he knew. Uh, so the unload is decent. But again, these Marines are already a, a bit injured. Obviously, that ploy has been figured out. Now, Bunny, you know, he, he's got to take that seriously. Like, he can't actually really depend on his production quite yet to stop everything, because it's only still a 1-1-1. One, one, one. But it looks like he's going to kind of shift over to the right side, stop any potential surround from coming in by tackling one of Time's armies and then maybe going back to the contain. But Time, it looks like he's actually still going to go across the map, or is at least holding on to that idea. I actually love the way that Bunny's handling this. Like, taking out one of those medevacs really kind of makes the army significantly weaker. He's utilizing his air control super well. That starport, if he takes out the reactor as well, uh, time's going to be in far more trouble. And so far, what's the resources lost about? It must be really bad for time. And oh my god, three times the resources lost. This is, this is great for Bunny. Yeah. And I think right now, Bunny's got to have a few tanks back. I know, I know he actually had left one from the get-go. Uh, now he's got three, I believe. There's another one up on the high ground. That was the initial ah, one. Great I love this move. I First try. Master. That was a pretty good boss fight. Way better than the last one. Finally, the traitor Elidus has met his death. His task was to was only to delay us until Moiri arrived. Time is running out, Byron. We need to start the ritual before it's too late. If this is our only chance to stop Moiri, we must Okay, still on two bases. So I'm not gonna do the, the mistake that I always do. I I see two James is Zotac. Zotac too. <laughs> you didn't get trophies for Zotac. No, you didn't, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did take me out in Aiken 5, or Code 5. Yeah. Yeah, in Birmingham. That, that, wasn't, that was expected. Oh my god, <laughs> he got so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Economy behind all of this, and Bunny now has no map presence. 
That was a perfect reset. That's like the one Ooh. thing that's Okay, perfect. what time? What time do you think it's gonna be GG? Because now while well, we get a little worried for Sarah, all of those concerns are just I know like four wins more. I cannot believe he actually made two infestors with Burrow and then he made two Vipers. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy prediction. The best thing is I was completely joking. Or like yeah, I know. <laughs> it was the same meme as saying, why the Terrans don't make one Raven now? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I need to start making one Raven randomly. I will switch that. Starport from reactor to make tech up. Just make a second starport, bro. Put it on tech up. With haste at once. One armor is okay. Be patient to battle. Okay, let's grenade them. Be patient. It will be done. With haste at once. Are you kidding? That wasn't even a bad grenade. It was fine. <laughs> That's incredible! <sighs> okay, we need to make sure we hit the Hydra. And then ignore the Zergling. There we go. Why was that Hydra so good? Leslie rocks. Nope, nope, nope. I've learned my lesson. No, I got tricked. SOS is so much fun, man. So much fun. Very, very cool. Um, we have so many games to cast today, guys. So I'm gonna take a very quick two minute break, and then we will be back with uh with what's next on our on our list here. We've got a giant list of games to cover. Oh, <gasps> Parting vs. Clem. Yes. Oh, or do we want to do dark first time first? Actually, just to mix up the matchups, guys. Maybe we'll do Dark vs. Time, because that's meant to be a really exciting game. Dark Time, game one. And then we'll do Part and Clem right after, because it's just one game. This way we get a Zerg in there, and then we go back to PVT again. We'll be right back, guys, in just a minute with that. Um, big thank you, Original Steak Sauce and Lamzak for the subs, by the way, guys. Don't forget to click the sub button, click the bit button, click the cheer button. I can go to bed afterwards, says Eon Blue. What's up, dude? Okay, we'll, we'll get this. Yeah, I wanted it just for the racial variation. Mm -hmm. 